Okay, Google, pause the music. Alright, guys, back to, welcome back to my channel. It's Jeremy here back again with another video. And in today's video, I'll be basically showing you guys how to make money on the side as a student. Because you know, all of us who are back in school right now, the semester is getting hot. We have part time jobs, we have all that. So, this is just basically to help you guys like make some money. I know I'm always talking about buying shoes, buying clothes, buying this. Now, I'm going to try and help you guys make some money. real cash, right? So, let's get into the video. I'm going to see you guys there. Alright, there's so many ways you can make money on the side to be honest. Like I'm gonna be going through maybe like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ways. Like I don't know as much as I can think of. But like the first way I'm gonna be mentioning is something that I've always tried. Like it's for people that basically have like skills, like skills that they have learned over the days, over the years and everything. They are willing to use it to make some money. And like this is to join a Fiverr account. I know you guys have never heard of Fiverr before, but like I've seen Fiverr like over two years ago, one year ago. I don't even know how long it has been, but like I've been looking at it and everything. And like the app basically helps you monetize your skills. Basically, you can paint, you can draw, you can code, you can edit. Basically, anything you can do that is a skill that people are willing to pay for or people value. That's why you can like come to Fiverr and basically say, I'm going to edit this 30 second clip for you. And you basically put like $10. And people will be willing to actually pay you for ten dollars to basically edit that small clip for them. Like, yeah, Fiverr takes like that percentage, but like, there are some people that are really successful. Some people have like one thousand sales and so on on that on that app. So you basically put your skill there, put your price, and people are actually willing to pay for it. All over the world, all over the country, and everything is available. So I would recommend that Fiverr. So don't sleep. Um, another thing I'll say is basically sell your clothes, like sell anything that you don't want, sell sell your clothes, sell some things lying around your house that you don't use. Like for example, with this hourglass, like if if you really like get tired of it, I could sell it for like ten dollars on it, put it on KG, put it on eBay, put it wherever and just sell it. So that's another way of making money inside your clothes, your shoes, whatever you have that is lying around that you don't want to use again, you sell. Uh -huh. Another way is basically for like the ac academic guys is to enter scholarships. Like if you are really smart and you think you're yeah, like, yeah, I'm smart, I'm so smart, I know I'm good at this. Enter scholarships. That's a way to make money. To be honest, like you'll be entering the scholarship. The school will be paying for all your expenses for school. So you basically use your money for other things and everything. So that's a good way to do it. Also, entering scholarships for the people that their brain is bigger than any fact. Yeah, those guys should go for it. Also, you can if you have a car, I think you can also rent your car to people. Like, say, okay, take my car for two hours, give me this amount of money, they pay for the gas also. So, yeah, it's win win and everything. Instead of your car just sitting there in your backyard, give somebody, let them take care of course, the correct documentation and all that. So, yeah, tell them, rent your car out. It makes a lot of money to some people and everything. So, and like talking about cars, let's just go into another one is, um, Basically doing a ride share and everything. Ride share basically if people if you guys don't know about it is like going somewhere and like you decide to like take two, three people, the amount of space you have in your car, you decide to carry this amount of people along with you. So at the end of the day they indirectly pay for your gas and pay for other expenses you're gonna call when you're going on your trip instead of just going on your own. So basically you get a free free trip. There are apps that are already doing this, like app communities for it by Facebook. There's even an app called You Ride where people post where they are going and everything so that's a good thing to do on the side also basically do right share if you have a car mm. another one i would like to go to go into is uh, uber eats or delivery like do delivery basically like you are just you are chilling you don't want to carry people in your car you don't like people in your car you don't want people to be in your car but you are willing to like deliver food so you can do uber eats on the side it pays a lot if you do it like religiously like if you go hard as it but as a student you want to do it on the side you can do once in a while make hundred dollars a week because they pay weekly so make hundred dollars a week and if you even have a bike like you can do it so you don't always have to have a car if you have a bike also it's something good to sign up so you can just use your bike that you is just lying around so you actually have no cost no cost really so basically carry a bike go come and because you're using a bike they give you within the one mile radius of your area so you don't have to go that far so it makes sense so that's me doing uber eats and or doing different types of deliveries yeah, yeah. see it's no. been i don't know maybe people do this but me i do it sometimes it's been like a shipper for people like um somebody is not in the country but and he wants to buy something but the thing is not being shipped in, in, into his country like the website doesn't offer shipping to his country so basically you buy it for them and then you ship it to them through the normal means of shipping out of the country instead of them having to like look for it to, 
another way, pay pay excessive amounts of money and everything. So you can be a shipper for somebody. You don't know a lot of people do it. Like you'd be surprised the amount of people that do shipper like that. Be do like the middleman for people when they are buying things in that country and everything. So that's something I would recommend. Be a shipper. That that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And that one I will recommend that I'm doing right now. As you guys know, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I'm not making any money right now, but like at the end of the day, it really pays much if you actually going, if you actually like take it seriously, be consistent and all that. I'm trying, but like we will get there one day and everything. So yeah, like being a YouTuber is really cheap to be honest. Like if you have a phone, you can be a YouTuber. That phone that you spent a grand plus on on that you just use to text, you can use it to do YouTube, right? That's all. I've made. I've seen YouTubers that fifty thousand followers, seventy thousand followers from just using their simple phone. A phone can get you that. So you can use your phone for other things and just texting. So yeah. So like being a YouTuber too is a good thing. Like I have the camera to be lucky enough because I bought it a long time ago and yeah, I still have it now. So it's being used. But I also have the phones that I, I use once in a while when I'm vlogging also. So that's pretty much you can do. Um. I wrote a few down, so let me just like go through them and see if I covered everything. Um, another one I would mention is doing Airbnb. I know like not a lot of people like people in their space and people in their apartments, people in their home and all. But like if you are not around, like if you really if you are traveling to a place that is pretty far, a place that isn't nearby, a place that that you know you're gonna be gone for a while and you have like space to actually keep your stuff away to not like disturb anybody and everything so like you just rent your room out rent the space out and everything you can actually get good money for it so instead of you traveling and spending money on that place your home is paying for your travels so that's a good thing to do on the side also doing airbnb is actually cool like you're, you meet good people you meet cool people sometimes you meet bad people but like yeah, at the end of the day, it's a paying job. A lot of people are doing it, so you should get into it if you can. Like those people that go home every weekend, I know in university. Like if you can clear your room out or like keep your things in that place or have something like you don't carry, you don't have a lot of stuff. Yeah, just rent your room out for the weekend, but like not in rent. Like if you can rent, don't do that. But like if it's your apartment, if the building allows it, do it. But like if they don't allow it, I'm sorry, you have to look on that way. And another one is you can do is actually become a tutor. And now you can do actually is become a tutor. I know like a lot of people have made money from tutoring. I've even paid for tutoring once in a while. Like, I know I paid an hour seventy dollars one time. So imagine paying seventy to sixty or 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars an hour to just help somebody do better in school. You are basically helping someone. You're also making money. So like if you go to school, learn your stuff very well, so you can become a tutor, so you can teach people and everything. So like that's something you can do, become a tutor. A lot of people do it, you can put it in your resume, it really works well and everything. So it's a win-win situation. Become a tutor, that's also something I recommend. You can take notes for people, you can be a note taker. I know schools do that, they do note takers and everything, but I know schools pay you, like schools don't pay you, but schools like give you credit and all to do note taking and everything for people that have disabilities and all. But like you can actually take notes and put it on websites like Course Hero. Post on website, other websites, cost zero, one class, and all that, where you actually get paid for your work and everything. So I think that one, be a note taker. Those people, I've seen some people's notes that like are really legible, really good to understand, really beautiful, good and writing and all that. So like that's something you can do on the side also if you are someone that takes all your notes, go to class two four seven and everything. So like being a note taker too pays off, and at the, in the end of the day you are you are making money, but you are also teaching people and you are also learning because your notes are complete also. So I, I think that's all. There are other ways of making money online. You can do surveys. You can you can do a lot of things. Me, I do so many things. I sell. I I help people. I recommend. I ship. I do different things to make money on the side. But like yeah, and also I'm not saying that you should do this and not go to school. You should also have a part time job on the side because these things are like gigs, are like random things. They won't be like always there to pay for your rent, pay for your miscellaneous fees and everything so make sure you have a part-time job on this side when following my instructions and i think that's everything the giveaway is coming very soon i see people subscribing more we are close to 120 now so like keep on subscribing the giveaway is coming i'm gonna run it very soon or i'm gonna run it in the next video and you guys will see who wins and you guys will get to know the the, the, the awards and surprises i put aside for everyone i'll see you guys later
Bye. <laughs>